Hi, my name is John Dyer, and I'm going to attempt to show you the CD Word project from the 1980s, one of the first Bible software packages developed at Dallas Theological Seminary. This is um, MS-DOS and the 3.0 version from, from back at the late 1980s. And what I'm going to do is load up Windows 2.1 here, which has a few, a few errors on my system. I'm going to move over to my um, CD-ROM drive here and go into CD Word and fire up the CD Word package. And there's a few errors here. I wasn't able to install everything, but here's the splash screen showing you the CD Word logo and Dallas Theological Seminary. When I click through this, I could actually open up a Bible. And uh, there were a few Bible software packages at the time, but some of the things that this package could do that was innovative was to be able to load it up and also load up a second, a second version um, alongside in another pane. So I'm going to load up the NIV here and, uh, and go to the Gospel of John. To be able to scroll through these at the same time was really an innovative new thing that just other packages didn't do at the time. There's also um, some pretty advanced um, Greek packages in this where you can see the Septuagint, the LXX, or the NA26 at the time. I'm going to open this up in its own window. Unfortunately, I couldn't get the Greek fonts installed well enough to actually be able to see, to see the actual Greek text here, but I'll open it up anyway just to see um, how it looks. I'm going to open this up to John. And uh, again, this is kind of some goblet gook, but if you can kind of tell that this would be the, the first word in John 1.1 1, 1, um, if the font were showing up. So to be able to search through and do a lot of um, lexicons and be able to see the parsing of the Greek was, was a really powerful feature at the time. One of the other things that was um, really important here was not just Bibles, but also commentaries and lexicons and dictionaries. So to be able to get into the uh, Theological Dictionary of the New Testament was, was really, really a big deal because... Um, you not only could uh, could read it, but you could also click through and, and see what different words meant here to have all those um, all those sh uh, shorter things translated for you, and to be able to then click through to other passages and have it all synced together. That was some of the stuff that was really innovative at the time. And to compare, um, if I go back into Windows and I load up um, the writing program at the time here, um, I can see that it's it's pretty uh, pretty pretty simple here. So if I was to go in and want to, want to write a sermon, I can do a few things, like I can change the font um, here to something else. I can change it to, to a different font, and I can make it bold. But that's about as far as the word processing went built into Windows. So when you compare that to what CD Word Project looked at the time, it was a pretty powerful package that allowed people to really begin studying um, the scriptures and also to, be, to study resources that previously weren't available. Um, sometimes people didn't have these commentaries at all, much less in a digital form that allowed them to be able to really um, speed through and, uh, and, and read them and also find out about all of these additional resources and what they meant. So this is the CD Word Project from 1989 from Dallas Theological Seminary. I hope you enjoyed this little preview.